So I'd like to show you my uh, transverter system here. This is a dual band system. It has 5.7 gigs and 10 gigs in it. As you can see, I've integrated an FT817 transceiver into it. It makes it real quick and easy for setting up. There's no repatching between transverter modules. It's band changes are simply a flick of a switch like that. Now, not only can I select 5.7 gigs and 10 gigs, it also has an external position. So on the back of the, the box here, the uh, control signals go out, such as PTT. Um, there's a switch uh, 12 volts. And there's also the RF antenna connector from the FT817. So I can then remote that to my other box which is a dual band 2.4 and 3.4 system. So taking a look inside the box, both 5.7 and 10 gigs are based on the Kuhn G3 transverter modules. They work really, really well. You can um, feed them with 10 megahertz, um, as I've done here, or they'll work um, free running, no problems. Um, very, really, really impressed with their, uh, the free running local oscillators. Oh, I was about 2.7 kilohertz off, which is not bad when you're up at 10,000 megahertz. These are the TR relays for each band. What I've done here, I've actually hooked these up arse about, so they rest in the, the transmit position. So I actually need to activate them to go into the receive position, um, which can be handy when you're running a dual band uh, feed arrangement like this one. Because um, if there's any uh, isolation problems and you're getting some leakage from one band across into the other, all that's going to happen is that the RF from one band is going to go up the bum of the PA in the other band and not up into a uh, received preamplifier, which uh, could be problematic. Now to do that, I've had to modify the, the Kuhn ECQ to sequences, so they work with the inverted logic. Not very hard to do, just one transistor there. Uh, this is the, uh, the PA for uh, 5.7 gigs. Don't know who the uh, manufacturer is actually, but it's just known as the Wellington Group PA. It puts out uh, just over eight watts, so that's quite useful. This here is the IF switching board, so what that does, that's switching the FT817 um, out to the 5.7 or the 10 or the external output. I'm using two of the mini kits, 2.6 gig relay kits here. They're about $25 um, and I've just piggybacked two of them. One, one relay will feed the other one. So I basically get uh, three positions, so it's a nice, cheap, easy way of switching your IF rig. This uh, is a, uh, a DC a meter, it's, it's purely measuring um, a supply current, there's no fancy monitoring, it's, it's a pretty good way of giving you a simple indication uh, of what, uh, what it's doing. Over here we have a, a digital multimeter. At the moment I can switch between battery volts, which is currently reading 12.5. I can monitor my relay voltage, which I've set to uh, 20.5. These are a 28 volt relays, however they'll work just fine down to 18 volts. And this position here, I can monitor my 5.7 uh, gig PA voltage, which uh, should be 10.6 volts. Across here, I've got an RF output meter. It's uh, a relative indication. So uh, when I come up on, uh, on 10 gigs, hala, 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 hala. Uh, I get uh, a, a bit of visual confirmation that I'm actually put the, putting something out, or rather something's actually coming out of the transverter module. Uh, this LED here, PLL lock, tells me when the, uh, the Kuhn modules are locked to the 10 meg reference, and if I pull this out, you'll see the LED go out. So when I plug the 10 megs back in, and the module will uh, lock again. Across the top, we've got some um, LED indicators. Receive on 5.7, transmit 5.7, receive on 10, transmit on 10, and that's switching out to that external position I spoke about before. Here we are able to uh, generate two idents. We'll put the rig into CW mode, like so. And all that's doing, the switch is just wired across the, uh, the, uh, the, the, the paddle input, or with dids. So setting up a signal like that can be really, really handy when someone's trying to find you. Around the back of the box, we've got a uh, DC power input, we've got a fuse, our 10 meg reference input, the 5.7 gig antenna, the 10 gig antenna, and these are the external outputs. 
to, uh, to take the FT817 and its control out to the other box.